Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about a fantastic AI digital tool called Magic School. And since the release of this, everybody's talking about this tool for educators. So if you're interested in finding out more about Magic School, then please keep on watching. Okay, so if you are familiar with my work, I normally never focus on any particular digital tool. And I wanna say that this video is not sponsored by Magic School but I feel like this is a tool that will really help teachers not only save time, but transform their pedagogy and encourage best practices that focus more on deep conceptual understanding. So this is free at the moment, and I've been told that this will probably stay free until next year sometime. Let's keep our fingers crossed that they'll continue to serve the education field by keeping this a free tool for all teachers and educators. I'm just going to make myself a little bit smaller so I'm out of the way and move myself over here so that I'm not kind of getting in the way. So you can see after free sign up, I just use my uh, Google account to sign up. Uh, you've got thank you note generator. That's lovely. Uh, depth of knowledge question generator. That's great. Looking at the using the four depths of knowledge levels. You've got multiple choice assessment generator. And I think we need to be really careful about using multiple choice assessment generators. You know, multiple choice questions, or sometimes I call them multiple guess questions, can be used really badly with students in that they don't actually collect evidence of student learning if we're giving students a hundred multiple choice questions just to blindly answer. But if you have one really good multiple choice question, uh, in other words, it's called a concept test, and the four or five different choices and answers really help students to unpack and delve deep into those conceptual understandings, then I think one good multiple choice question could be really good, but not a hundred. Uh, we've got social stories generate a lesson plan, report cards, rubric, professional email tool, which I think is really important if we are communicating with parents, anyone in the school community. And every single week, you can see this purple new tab. Every single week, there's always something new. So all of these new tabs are actually brand new. Now, I was really interested in looking at the YouTube video question generator, not that I want my students to actually be watching hour long you know, videos, but let's say I have like a little three minute video about how a plant grows. So I've just found a little video here about how plants grow. It's only three minutes 46. I'm gonna go back and copy and paste that URL here, and then I'm gonna start generating. So this is for kindergarten. I wanna generate three questions, uh, multiple choice, because they could be multiple choice, but in a moment, I'm gonna generate something else. Let's generate free response questions. Okay, video comprehension. What are the three parts of a seed? What are the three things that a seed needs in order to start growing? And it even tells you the timestamp and it even gives you the answers. And so maybe there's a little quick video that, that can give students some graphics and visuals that would actually enhance their learning. And you want to have some video comprehension questions. So I thought that was lovely. If I go back to magic tools, I think another one that I love is the rubric generator. Let's have a look at an exemplar. Of course, I have this drop down menu here, which I can look at any grade level and create a rubric. I put in my standards, the assessment title, and then the description, and it will generate. But let's have a look at an exemplar just for the sake of time. And we have Raina here, who is our lovely chatbot, if you need any assistance or you have any questions. But looking at this particular example for eighth grade, it's an ELA standard looking at argumentative writing. And we're looking at that routine claim, evidence and reasoning. And so a student can look at these descriptors and see where they are in terms of the descriptors these descriptors. And we really want to encourage this kind of criterion reference assessment because we don't want students to be compared with each other in a norm referenced way. We want students to be able to see which level they are in terms of these descriptors. Now, if we go back to magic tools again, I will keep scrolling so that you can see student work feedback tool. 
Math story word problems. Let's kind of click on that. So math word problems. So let's have a look at an exemplar for the sake of time. Okay, so this is fourth grade number of questions. And here, running a school store. Different word problems, which I think gives mathematics a context. But of course, we have to look over these contexts because we don't want students engaging problems to do with 500 watermelons because who would actually be buying 500 watermelons? But looking at the context to see the relevancy and to help students see the authenticity of mathematics. So let's go back to Magic Tools and have a look at one more that I love, the Choice Board Generator for Universal Design for Learning. So let's have a look at the Choice Board here, the generator based on the Universal Design for Learning principles. And I love giving choice boards to my students so that they have agency and ownership and they drive the direction of the learning. So for the sake of time, let's look at an exemplar. This is sixth grade. Uh, we're looking at the layers of the earth science standard. And can you give suggestions for different ways in which a student might be able to demonstrate the understanding of the layers of the earth? So here is the choice board. So you can ask your students to choose whether they want to create a diagram, a 3D model, a comic strip, a song or rap, a digital presentation, storyboard, puppet show, infographic, or a comparison chart. I think that is fantastic. And I think that these tools not only save time, but they still enhance learning and encourage the best pedagogical practices. So Henry Ford, when he was developing the car, one of his famous principles was that he did not want to build a faster horse. In terms of using AI digital tools, we're not trying to use the tool to create 100 multiple choice questions, but we're trying to really rethink how can we approach instruction in a completely transformative way. So I just want to reiterate, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not sponsored by Magic School. And I really only try to advocate and share free tools for educators. And currently, this is a free tool, hopefully at least until uh, next year. Please give it a try. Be really mindful about how you use the tool. We're not trying to create faster horses, but we're trying to use this tool to transform our pedagogy and enhance learning. So thank you so much for joining me this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.